Hey everyone, so I've been uh, doing quite a bit of work in the workshop, just getting organised and sorted out, cleared out a lot of stuff from my wood rack, uh, made some shelves and things as you can see, and uh, got my cabinet that I made the other day in, um, and yeah, just uh, you like to say shelves and a charging station for batteries and stuff, and yeah, just pretty uh, pretty keen on getting this all nice and tidy in here now, um, so. Uh, the next thing I'm going to do today is I want to restock my wood shelf there with nice timber um, for making more toolboxes and cabinets in the future. And I've got that ash that I cut down not too long ago. Oh, sorry, hit the camera. Yeah, I've got that ash that I cut down not too long ago. And I'd like to get that milled up and on the rack drying so I've got some timber for the winter or something to make some more toolboxes. So yeah, that's what I'm going to do today. Do some milling. Here is one of the logs in question and we're just below the shed and I'm going to bring the tractor as close as I can and then um, winch it out and take it up. I'm going to cut it in half because I don't need it that long for toolboxes um, so yeah let's get it out
Right, all loaded up. A lot of you probably noticed that the uh, sawdust bucket wasn't in place. I forgot to bring it up with me. But never mind, it's only a little bit. We didn't do a lot. Yeah, go back down, unload it, and load up the workshop. Oh, it's a nice feeling to get it stocked up with some nice timbers ready for some winter projects. Just being organised. Not very good at it. When I get organised, I love it. It's nice to know that this is going to become, well, I think it will become, lovely toolboxes. Or at least parts of lovely toolboxes. I'll try and fill, a, fill this up with ash. And under there is all hardwoods as well. I'll fill the top up, do that tomorrow with larch. Do fill that all up with softwoods. We should have a pretty decent stock then. That's stuff for drying, anything for green work, green woodworking, we just take straight off the mill. If it was winter time, I wouldn't be doing this, bringing all this wet wood in here. Um, but this time of year, the uh, doors and windows are open a lot, working in here every day, and I'm not too worried. By the time winter comes, hopefully this would have lost most of its moisture. So yeah, don't bring big piles of wet wood into your workshop in winter, that's for sure. Probably be the last time I get to make stuff out of ash because it's uh, not looking good for it as a species, which is a shame. I did cut some wider boards too, and they've got this amazing pink colour going through them. Don't know if that will stay, but I mean, if it does, I mean, that is just yeah, beautiful, right? Um, Such a joy to have a sawmill. I mean, once this is dry, put it through the planer on all sides, that is hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of pounds worth of ash. The wood is really expensive. Yeah, it's just brilliant. Love it. I'm off to go and get a new machine on uh, Saturday, a tenoning machine, and it's going to be going over there. So that's the next area to get sorted out. Yeah, it's coming along, it's looking tidy, getting on top of things, getting organised. And as soon as I've got this one organised and sorted out, I'm going to have a new one to, to do. <laughs> yeah, never ending work, but that's what I like. Right, tomorrow I shall mill some softwoods for the next rack up. Yeah, right, it is the next day. I remembered my bucket today. Looks good. So continuing on, restocking my uh, timber stocks for drying uh, I'm gonna mill that big one for um, like one inch one and a quarter inch boards for like joinery type stuff um, and I'm gonna mill that big one there for sort of two by fours uh, for sort of anything really and door um, material for making doors so like uh, 125 by like two and a half something like that <clears throat> or 125 by 60 around that that's about sort of door making sort of sizes enough to plane some material off afterwards If I was to cut I don't need it that long, if I was to cut it shorter there'd be a less of a taper to it. I'd get less waste. Um, but what I'm getting as what I'm calling waste isn't really waste to me anyway. My time is a bit more valuable, so I'm gonna cut it as a whole thing and then uh sorry, mill it as a whole log and then cut it to length after. I'm using one of these winches that hurt my finger last time, but I'm just making sure it only ever goes 
in that direction with the ratchet cage, so it shouldn't get me. And it's not under a huge amount of force here anyway, because most of the weight of the log is down. I don't know if any of you noticed yesterday, but uh, it was wobbling about quite a bit as I was milling. When I'm up, it's quite a bit of weight, and there's flex in in these legs because they're not that much. Of a, they're not exactly like a machine fit. So the whole thing it feels quite rigid there, but once it's up, it gets a wobble going. So I'm gonna have to do something about that. Uh, not 100% sure exactly what just yet. We're going to have to figure something out. Um, I mean, for today, I could just park the tractor next to it, stop it wobbling. Just hold some of the, you know, just stop it wobbling about, or put a, leave a bit of wood against it, maybe. But yeah, ultimately, I'm going to figure it take some of the slack out of these legs somehow to stop it from getting that wobble going. Only happens on big bits of timber, though, so it's not too bad. I just uh, put my tractor bucket touching the end. Uh, just out of the way, it's not going to hit anything, it's just going to stop that wobble. I think maybe uh, could just do with another maybe two sets of legs, possibly because it's quite high, quite heavy. And once that blade's going through high up, it, it gets a wobble going. And once it starts, it gets a resonant frequency, and then you know it starts wobbling enough to slow down, wait for that to stop, and then go again and try and keep the blade nice and fast going through. Um, but yeah, for now that works fine. Alright, let's get this warmed up.
Right, so that's uh, what we got out of that log. Actually, I've got one more little inch thick board as well, but um, and they're four meters long, so that's all like door wood basically. Uh, 55 mil, which we plane down to 52 or so, and that'll be for doors, stuff like that. They're basically two by fours, true two by fours. And so yeah, once that's all dry, that's a lot of money's worth of timber there. Uh, just gonna do one quick cut down the middle of that, um, and that's just inch boards, same as I'm gonna do the other log. It just uh, worked out that I'll get a nice quarter on two nice quarter saw on boards out of that at the 100 mil we did like yesterday but just in larch not ash so we go with that just cut that down the middle and that looks yesterday done. i forgot the bucket today i keep forgetting to put the bucket back on but yeah never mind I'm just gonna cut them down into usable length do one more log call it a day for that i do other stuff today but just a little morning's work stock up on timber right so that is a uh, half a day's milling you see there's a lot of timber in there like <laughs> A real huge amount weighing my van right down. Um, yeah, half day's milling, spend the rest of the day now stacking it all up because this is all for drying for nice uh, joinery style wood. So it's all got to be cut to length, stacked up, and dried properly. So that's what we'll be doing for the rest of the afternoon. So, yeah, just gonna cut all this stuff to length. Some of it's piling up in here, some of it's going outside. Uh, for air drying under the porch, uh, just stacking up materials in preparation for future projects. And tomorrow I'm going to carry on milling uh, more timbers for the top workshop, stacking them up as well. Uh, this time of year the place tends to get quite messy with materials, but there's nothing I to do about it. It's like a constant battle of uh, not having materials, sourcing materials or milling materials or getting materials, stacking them somewhere, getting annoyed with the place, looking messy, thinking, use those materials. Get that done, like a little glass there, I want to stack, get that fitted in the greenhouse and then I can replace that pile with some other materials. This constant cycle of moving piles of materials and fitting them and creating things out of them. Um, until I've got like a barn to put everything in, that's just how it is. So that's what I'm going to be doing for the rest of the afternoon. Cutting everything down to length and stacking it up. What to do with my ear defenders? There they are. Yeah, that is uh, that is what I'm doing this week, really, is tidying, milling and preparing, so that's all the video I'm going to have for you, I'm afraid. Uh, right, we want 2.2 metre pieces for doors, ideally 2.2 is probably a bit big, but just in case. I have to, uh, I've got these doors let up against here, which is nice because that's blocking the sun off of these. I have to sort something out along here too because you don't want the sun shining on drying timber because it'll all crack on the ends and everything. You want, a, you want air, you don't want sun on it, so cover these up a bit with something. Right, so there is all the beautiful stacked up wood. So we've got uh, tropical hardwoods on the bottom from uh, sleeper off cuts. We've got our own ash from our own woodland in the middle there. Um, and then uh, larch softwood on the top, all uh, all milled here, and a lot of it's even lovely quarter sawn boards as well. Quite a lot of timber in a small space. Yeah, cost a lot to go and buy that in the shops, and it's a lovely feeling to have it all uh, all there, prepared, drying, stacked up, ready for future projects. And there's our porch stack air drying. Um, they're two and a half meters long though so as you can imagine there's a lot of timber there too all right so that's all i'm going to have for you this week i'm afraid uh, just milling and uh, sorting out oh there's a little blue tit in here can you see it all right let me let that out oh come on hang on let's get this out uh, let's open this door see if it'll fly out i know come on get out what are you doing in here anyway? Go on, out you go, not there. The other door. Why you leave that bird alone? Come on, fly out the door. There it goes. 
So yeah, that is all I've got for you this week, I'm afraid. I have to have these weeks of uh, just getting organised and sorting out materials. I have a volunteer coming today to help with the greenhouse next week. So that's what next week's video will be, either Friday or Sunday. Hopefully having the rest of the glazing done on the greenhouse. And uh, that'll be the roof and the ends. And it'll be basically done for this year then, because um, I need to move on to that top workshop, which is what will be starting very soon, because I'm a bit behind already. Anyway, that's enough blabbering on. Hope you enjoyed the video, and thanks for watching.